Hai guys, kita kembali lagi nih di Tales of Mysteria. Nah, kita lanjutin untuk ke sini. Kita mau ke Hideout. Kita kayak berasa deja vu nih. Balik lagi ke tempat awal lagi aja. Sebenarnya gue bingung nih, kenapa gue gak bisa quest yang ini ya, yang sebelum-sebelumnya. Gue ada beberapa quest sama yang belum gue ambil. Jadi rasanya kayak kurang gitu. Jadi sebenarnya di episode selanjutnya sebelumnya kita udah lawan Dragon. Dragon yang mau menyebangkan Noi darahnya 75 ribu dan benar-benar sulit tapi kita berhasil dan warnya juga udah berhenti langsung menghilang uh, so yang sekarang ini kita disuruh balik ke dalam ini such an innocent face <laughs> asleep or awake <sighs> No need to worry. Saray's got it together. Yes, I know. But... He's almost two together, huh? Sounds like something a mother would say. Can it be sister at least? <laughs> Although I am far older. <laughs> All right, sister. We ought to rest up too. Yes. I'll just tuck both of them in. Oke, okay. kita lagi rest ternyata, melelahkan. Morning. Not even. You've been sleeping for three days straight. You're kidding. I was wondering why I was so famished. <laughs> Let's go get something to eat. Indeed, Saray woke up just before you did. After we're done, let's head on over to Lasten Bell. I gotta check on how everything wound up. Sheesh, workaholic much? Though I guess I shouldn't talk. Aren't you curious? Well... Yeah. If anyone's warmongering, I got some killing to do. Maybe we should leave her here. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Kita sudah... Balik. Kita mau ke Lastendale Lastendale ada di situ Kamu siapa kita? Jadi penasaran ini udah kelar apa belum? Ininya, apa namanya? Story-nya oh. Lila Those dragons used to be Seraphim, right? Yes They were likely Seraphim of considerable power Most likely He captured them and shut them away in an area where malevolence is likely to gather. Like a battlefield, for example. As a sacrifice. <sighs> a battlefield is like a microcosm of our world. All kinds of emotions spiral and whirl about in a place like that. You mean like fear and hatred? The kind of emotions that would beget dragons? Those aren't the only ones. There's also bravery. The bravery needed to stand up against the dragons. And that's something you invoked. Then I can't give up yet. Not as long as there's still hope. I'll just have to believe. Both in Sergei and in the world that humans live in. Indeed. And we will believe in you. Saray, look! 
<laughs> Alicia and Lucas. Hi. As a messenger of the Kingdom of Highland, I am here to discuss terms of a truce. I would like to meet with a representative of the Rolands Imperial Army. We honestly wish we could allow you to pass, but Highland and Rolands are still officially at war. This is a decision that has to be made at the top. I'm afraid as mere rank and file, we, uh... Alicia! Lucas! Saray! <laughs> I knew you were alive! You're meeting with Rolands? I hope. It seemed like this might be the last chance for diplomacy. A Highland princess wandering all the way here with no escort? You're a trooper. What do you mean? She's got the best guard in the world. <laughs> if there's a chance we can stop the war, it's a small price to pay. But we're running into some, uh, jurisdictional issues. Shepard? You're with the Platinum Knights, right? Do you think you could contact Sergei for us? Tell him that Saray's friend, Alicia, has come to visit. If it's a meeting between friends, then the knights have no need to interfere. I'm sorry my subordinates couldn't be more flexible with you. Not their fault. I hear they work under a very rigid captain. <laughs> you caught me there. So you're Alicia. I am Sergei, a friend of Saray. Well met. I'm Alicia. My sincere thanks for helping us the other day. Not at all. Would you like to join me for some tea? Certainly. I'm thankful for this opportunity. We won't let it go to waste. Damn peaceniks. Putting good mercenaries out of jobs. <laughs> this calls for booze. What do you say, Shepard? <laughs> Right, that should do it for now. Yes, thank you for all your help. Ah, it's over already? <laughs> the first meet and greet. I've received an invitation to Pendrago Castle. By yourself? In exchange, His Imperial Majesty of Rolands will allow me to meet for direct negotiations. Not bad for a bottom rung princess, huh? <laughs> we are comrades who battled the dragon together. The Empire will have the decency to acknowledge that. Neat. Guess the peace talks are in good hands. And here I thought the war would be dragging on and on. Oh no, that was a pretty good one! I'm jealous! Is it a competition? Saray, would you be interested in coming to Pendrago with us? You're a key figure in bringing our two nations together. Thanks. But that's a dream that you should be the one to fulfill. I suppose. Best to you on your journey. You too, Alicia. Sergei. Not to mention our plastered buddy out there. <laughs>
I hear they're actually making progress with the peace talks. That Princess Alicia is a godsend. She sure is. If only a certain layabout would follow her example. My doggy's happy too. She hates war. You and me both, puppy. You and me both. Hey, bud. You up for a drink? Anything to get out of this armor. <laughs> Our departure can wait a day. Huh? But... Ah, oh, so sleepy all of a sudden. Oh, my back. I gotta lie down. Get us a nice room. Come on. Lila, for hanging out with me. Don't mention it. I was thinking of coming up here and watching the city anyway. <clears throat> so this is where Saray's guidance has led us. Indeed. I'm sure he is doing much the same, watching them and thinking about how far we've come. Adnan Zavid too. After our long journey with the Shepherd, I imagine they're using this time to reflect on their past and, perhaps, their future. <laughs> Kinda like us, huh? Well, well. Edna coming to see me? Should I be scanning the skies for pigs? I want you to tell me, why were you killing Hellions? <laughs> Where'd this come from? And why now? Is it to save them? Did you make up your mind that it's something you have to do in order to save them? Like Saray did? Oh, I get it. You still haven't quite wrapped your head around the idea of death as a form of salvation. And so every time you put it into words, it's been to convince yourself. Smart woman. I imagine right now she's busy sorting out her feelings before we face our final battle. No doubt she's consulting Zavid for guidance. He's seen more of the world than any of us, the good and the bad. You're really a good study of people. You should have been a school teacher. <laughs> oh, but Rose, you had something you wanted to ask me, didn't you? When the dragon appeared, Saray found his answer right then and there, didn't he? <laughs> it was that he didn't want that battlefield to see any further killing or bloodshed. Yes, and then he immediately took the actions he deemed necessary in order to achieve that. Time flows differently for people with a vision, or so it seems to the rest of us sometimes. He's incredible. Wow, look at all those stars. Yeah. I forget who said it, that there are as many emotions as stars in the sky. I can totally see that. A metaphor for how each emotion sparkles in its own way, huh? Must have been a romantic who came up with that one. But you can also sense his insecurities about that, can't you, Rose? Like he's constantly on edge, worrying that if he let his guard down even a little bit, he'd lose his way again. I think Saray himself might be the only one who doesn't see that. I mean, you know how little it takes for a taut string to go snap, right? Are you worried? Mm, not worried, really. Whatever happens, whatever the future brings, I hope I can make it work somehow. No, I know I can. <laughs> so 
So that's your answer. I guess so. But I've always been like this ever since I was a kid. I'm starting to understand why you don't generate any malevolence. So I want everyone not to worry and to just go do what they need to do. Pow! But I don't mean like, see ya, have fun, I'll be over here. I promise I'm with the rest of you guys for the long haul. <laughs> don't you think it would be better to tell that to everyone, not just me? After all, I'm sure Edna and Zabid would take no small amount of inspiration from it. <laughs> I don't know, it'd be weird to walk up to them and be like, I am here, we are friends. Probably true. Jeez, you women folks sure are complicated. But then, that's part of the appeal. <sighs> are you just stupid? Yep, big old stupid, Ed. The type who can't do anything but believe in the one way he's found to get stuff done. What makes you believe in it? I just have a need to protect the pride of my friends and fellow Seraphim. No one becomes a Hellion because they want to. But when you turn into one, you know what that means, right? So that's why I end it for them. For the sake of their pride. <laughs> <laughs> and you think that saves them? Who knows? That's something they get to ponder after death. In their own personal afterlife. <laughs> How gallant of you. So that must be what makes you so... Attractive? <laughs> Ow! Hey! Knock it off! Don't you all have one more thing you need to brace yourselves for? It'll depend on what Saray does with Mautelis after we take down Heldolf. But you know what? That's alright. I'm prepared. No matter what he decides, I'm willing to accept it. Gotta say, I think your resolve wins out over mine. I don't even know if I could do that. Just look on silently while one of our own suffers in agony. Well, I wouldn't worry too much about that. We're all in this together till the very end. <laughs> so, if Savid's quivering in fear, you'll be there to give him a gentle hug, right? Gross. <laughs> well, if my saying something is enough to cheer those two up, it might be worth it after all. It's enough to have someone to lend you a kind word. After all, that's what friends and comrades are for. But Rose, if you don't mind, may I ask what prompted you to bring all this up? I just kind of thought you and I might have sort of been thinking about stuff along the same lines. <clears throat> I just wanted to tell you, you don't have to carry it all by yourself. <sighs> huh? What? Did I say something funny? <sighs> huh? <gasps> the two of us really are more alike than we realize. <clears throat> we commit to things. We decide on what role we're going to play without really consulting with anyone else. Now that you mention it... So that's why I felt like we might be sharing the same thoughts. We are the same! Independent women! <laughs> Rose, I must thank you. I feel like a great load has been taken off my mind. Really? Hey! Cool beans! <laughs> I'm profoundly grateful to whatever twist of fate brought us together. You really are a drama queen, Lila. Aw, Rose! <laughs>
<laughs> All right, come on. We got some friends to go cheer up. <laughs> There's something I learned from this journey. Some stars you can't see. And because you can't see them, you think they're not shining. But they are. It turned out that there were a lot of stars that we couldn't see from our home in Elysia. Once people notice the stars, they start to understand just how brilliantly they shine. Just like how Alicia finally got a sense of what Seraphim were truly like the first time she heard your voices. <laughs> that was a trip. <laughs> you should have seen your face. <laughs> <laughs> I was really excited back then. It gave me hope that one day other humans might be able to talk to the Seraphim. But even then, you had to cut off your senses and hold your... Oh, I see. You were actually contemplating what you'll do after the last battle. Yeah. If I let myself become a vessel for Mautelis, and shut off all my senses, we might be able to spread that power throughout the entire continent of Glenwood. If it works, and that's a big if, the Squire ought to be able to wield power like mine, even if she doesn't possess natural ability on par with a shepherd. So long as you entrusted all of your senses to the Squire, it's not out of the question. And we might be able to grow the ranks of Squires who could help us. Just think of Alicia. It's arguably a more constructive approach than just waiting for another shepherd to appear. Exactly. But you understand the implications, don't you? Yeah. Until the Squires can quell enough of the Earth's malevolence to let Mautelis's natural purification take over, I would need to wait and sleep. By bonding with Mautelis, You'll be abandoned in time. It could take years. It could take centuries. And even if humans appear who can see and talk to Seraphim, there's no guarantee they'll choose the path of coexistence. I believe in them. What about your dream? Weren't you going to go off exploring ruins around the world? My dream will live on, so long as I don't forget. <sighs> Panjang banget. Very well. Thank you, Miklio. It's our job. You know what? I'm typically stupid. It's not so much that guys are stupid. It's just that the ladies are too smart. What's that? Your philosophy? Huh. Looks like the gang's all here. I suppose you were all listening to us then? Yes. I may not be Edna, but you really are. Totally. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Actually, it's late at night already. Udah jam 12, guys. Gua akan, gua akan coba selesai. Let's head out. Huh? We're not waiting till morning? No farewells to Alicia or anyone? I'd like to set out under these stars tonight. So that every time I gaze up at the night sky, I can remember this very day. Guess we've got our own romantic right here. You think so? So what's up? Are we going? Yeah. To the last battle. Yeah. All right then. No doubts, no regrets. <sighs> Let's go.
udah nih eh eh udah bisa nih oke okay. Oke okay, guys. You're not worried about Alicia and the others? Not at all. Sergey and Lucas are with her. Our next destination is Alicia. Yeah. There should be a passage that leads to Camlon where Maltellus is waiting. What are we gonna tell Gramps? Let's just not tell him. <sighs> Saray. There's no need. It's not like we'll never see him again. You're right. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. Pokemon dulu kita. Oke, okay, gue mau ke gua kayak basi lagi nih. Jadi ada satu tempat yang memang gua harus datengin. <laughs> Dan gua masih penasaran, oke? Akhirnya udah keluar lagi misinya. <tuh> Gue sempat worry kalau nggak nggak keluar lagi misinya. We are part of the joint border guard between Highland and Rollins. But we spotted a village that's not on the map. We were about to go investigate. Hmm. Would it be all right if we handled the investigation instead? Good call. If it turns out those two are actually back. I'm not sure I take your meaning. There's a high chance you might encounter danger there that only the Shepherd could handle. But... Please, 
I'm worried for everyone. Understood. Pierce and explode! 
Aduh. Ini tahu. Mati. Defensive maneuvers! Ah, yeah, yeah. No, you did! I am 
Guys, man, high five, high five. It's very hard to be very hard, but we won, we won. Without any repetition. Yay, mantap. Shoot. Good work. You two. Shepard, what was that? Who are these women? They collapsed. Please, take care of them. Will do. Most likely they fell victim to the sleeping sickness. Sleeping sickness? sickness? We consulted older records pertaining to this area. It turns out there was a village here called Fortin that was wiped out 20 years ago. The records indicate that everyone in the village caught an illness that made them lethargic and constantly sleepy. As if they were trapped by the illusions men call dreams. Saray, do you think? <sighs> yep, good. Why don't we take a rest and eat some snacks? Yay, kita menang guys. Hi bye. Ya. Kita harus ke Falcon Hillside. Tapi thank you banget ya udah nonton. Gila episode kali ini lumayan panjang. Kita dengerin story, kita actually kalian ini bisa lagi. So, terima kasih banget yang udah mampir. Jangan lupa untuk leave comment below. And I really excited for the next episode, okay? As you know. Eh, kapres. Ready for this? Go for it! Kapres, kaya gitu. Sorry, kaya gitu. Go for it! Dance and burst! Yeah! Sorry, sorry! Was it fate that the Cardinal and her sisters all had to choose between death and a life that would turn them into Hellions? Wow. There is such a thing as destiny in this world. But I don't want to believe that everything that happens is predetermined. I've never really put much stock in destiny. Everyone lives on the razor's edge between light and darkness. You never know which way they'll fall. It just so happened that all three sisters fell on the side of darkness and became Hellions. That's all. Can you choose which side you fall on? Um, yeah. It's your own life, after all. Saray. Yeah. Rose has the right idea. Jadi thank you banget guys yang udah nonton gue save dulu. Jadi gue akan lanjutin videonya nanti. Oke. By the way, sorry banget karena lagi error, lagi parah, jadi gue upload nya agak lama. Kalian sabar ya kalau nonton ya. Jadi uh, bye. Ini udah malam juga. And good night.